On to the third portion of creating a course. We have the course in Schoology. We have a great photo or picture for the students to see when they first come into that course uh, online in the, or in a hybrid environment or at school. Next is the longest part of this video, which is creating logical folders. In my school district at Bayport High School, we are all going to be using the same folder system, and I'm going to show you that. It's different for if you are in non-APIB non or if you teach APIB, and I'll show you both. I really like this folder system that we're going to be using because I ended up having a, a Google Calendar or a calendar I was having students use or like a Google Doc that was like a calendar. And then I still had everything in Schoology. And I can see where parents and students, that's a lot to take in if every teacher does something differently. So we're all going to get on board and we're going to follow the same folder system to make it easy for our students and parents to know what the expectation is each day or each week. All right, so here we go. We're going to go into that Schoology course. I'm going to show you how we're going to load those folders. So in my Schoology 101 course, I need to get some folders in here. And I'm going to hit Add Materials and hit Add Folder. Now, the first folder I'm going to add is just mine personally, it's just going to be called course information. Uh, I'm going to make it black and then I'm going to add a description later. Right now I just want you to see how to add a folder. You can do unpublish, publish, etc. I'm going to hit create. The other thing I plan to do, and then I'm going to, I'll show you the folder system that we're going to be using at Bayport High School and maybe Bayview and, and Lineville and, and maybe you want to use it at your school. I personally like to go back to a previous course that I know I have a lot of great content from. So for example, if I were to go back to my summer chemistry course, which I used, and I did have to create a course, this whole atomic structure unit, maybe that's got all the content that I need. You can see how my folders used to be organized. It was just a list of everything that I used. But I can take that and I can hit, you know, click on here where it says copy to course. And this is what I plan to do first with all of my courses. I've used Schoology a lot, so I plan on dumping everything I've had in the past in there first, okay? takes a little bit of loading here. I'm going to go back to then the Schoology 101 course. Here we go. Um, it's over here because I have so many courses that my school district loaded. So here we go. So you'll see my course information folder, which I can add, you know, a syllabus, a website. I can add them just in here separate. I'll talk about that later by with adding materials. That's the next couple videos. So let me just really kind of focus on just adding the folders and in a system that makes sense. So here's that folder. What I plan to do though is I'm just going to unpublish this so that students don't even see this. So only I will see this and it'll be at the bottom. Then the folders that I'm going to be adding, I'm going to add them, I'm just going to add a red one first and I'll show you why they're going to be called this. So let's say I was teaching block A and I'll show you the district's choice here. And it starts at 9 slash 1 slash 20 and it goes until um, 9 because we're teaching in kind of a semester that's broken into three blocks if that's the easiest way to explain it and then 24 and then 20 so that's gonna be our first three you know three weeks actually it's four weeks with the first week of school you can hit create and that's what the students are gonna see and you can even you know if you want to see that drag it up I just dragged it to there and then let me show you what's gonna go in there next so that's our first block block a it's gonna be technically four weeks but really three weeks of content and then what we want is in there, you're going to keep adding folders within the folders. Okay, so let me show you what they look like. So I'm just going to add another folder right now, and then I'll show you the whole setup. The next thing is you might want to think about large units. So we're going to call it unit um, of study. So maybe I'm going to have the atom, the electron, and the periodic table all wrapped into one, you know, bigger unit. I'm going to hit that, net, put, you know, click on that next. And maybe I want it to also be red. I didn't think about that. Or maybe I want to switch colors. I'm going to keep this one red. Let me go back and show you then. I'll go back to materials. So if you look at block there, there's my unit of study. And then we're going to add another folder. And this is what we're going to say we're going to do. Um, I'm going to add another folder. I'll do red again. And you can always do whatever colors you want or switch the colors if it makes more sense for your students. And then week one is going to go from 9, 1, 20, oops, 20, there we go, to 9, 4, 20, not 40, <laughs> there we go, I got it, typing's not my strong suit, I guess, today, so if you look now, if I keep opening these up, it's a lot more logical, and then after this is where I could, you are going to be given some options here, but the you'll see that the template I'm going to show you 
talks about each day. So what we're going to do is we're going to say like 9, 1, 20, um, and then our district just call it like learning at like activities. And then this is where, I am not spelling well. So then this is where there's going to be some flexibility. I'm going to leave that one blue just because I don't want to have to change it right now. So I'm just going to click back to here and kind of show you what that looks like where they're all kind of nested in within each other. And then that's where, again, maybe you have a learning activity for each day or maybe you have, you know, three learning activities throughout the whole week that students are going to be participating in and maybe not per day. And so this, the, where we're, we're saying this blue area is where there's a little bit of leniency, but there's not any leniency through here, okay? You have to have the block A, in this case, if you're teaching A, then the unit of study, then the week, and then at least some activities inside of here. You can do, you know, five days of them, four days, three days, whatever makes sense for you, okay? Let me go show you the course and what it looks like from the whole filled out template that I was kind of copying from here. So for Bayport's teachers, you're gonna go course listing. And then right here is this Bayport template non-APIB. You'll see that's what I was basically typing. I just made mine red instead. So here they are all set up for you to kind of mimic. So here's block A, unit of study. Then there's the week, I only did that one. You would actually add in week two, three, and four. Our first week is going to be kind of, a, I think, an onboarding week, and then really you're going to start teaching these last, you know, the next three weeks of that. And then in here is where we're calling them kind of loose guidelines. You need to have at least the days listed and or days per plural listed and the activities that those students are going to need to go through, and the parents can help them if they are all online, um, whether that's everybody's all online or just that one student. Now let me quickly go show you what the uh, folders are going to look like for the APIB. So those are going to look like a five kind of week course. However, remember we have a week off and then it starts up again. So what we decided to do was to have these listed as a session 1A, 3A, 5A, 7A since they're all going to be called A. And they list their lasting five weeks, remember. So you have your unit of study, and then you've got your uh, five weeks there, and then you're going to have a week off, and then you're going to come back, and you're going to cover more things. And what they did was they just broke the five weeks into, you know, two different units, assuming you're going to cover more content. Now, maybe unit one only has two weeks, so you can flex, again, these weeks in here, and then make sure that you do have, again, the activities for each day or at least a few days together if you're going to clump a couple days together as one type of thing, okay? So this is what we all are going to be doing at Bayport High School. You're going to follow the, this folder system, every one of us, so it makes it easy for parents and students. I am a parent uh, and a teacher. So I have three children in the school district at Lineville, Bayview, and Bayport, and I will appreciate the fact that this is logical for me to go into every class. Every teacher will have the same thing if they need help, and that I'm doing the same thing as an educator in this district, okay? So I hope that helps to make some folders. Again, you can, again, delete them, you can change the colors, and you can add a lot more things in the folder. So I'm just going to go back one more time and kind of show you something else that you can do. Remember that in those folders, let me go back to the School G101 course, you can add some descriptions, you can add links, but again, that's what I want to show you in the next couple videos. I didn't want this one to be too long because I feel like it was already pretty, pretty hefty. So, for example, you know, with, with the unit of study here, let's say you want to not only just say unit of study, you put in what you're studying, you can edit that, and you can type in all kinds of things in here. You can even add images, links, and this is where we're going to in the next video is adding other types of content within these folders, putting due dates and um, other kinds of things on them, okay? All right, so I hope that helped. And again, my goal is to link all my folders in here from the past. I'm going to, you know, I just did this. I just un I unpublished them right here. And I'm going to have them sitting at the bottom so that I can drop them into these little learning blocks or learning weeks or days as I go. All right. Again, I know this one was going to be the longer video, but I hopefully that'll help you. I really like this folder system. At first, it took me a little bit to understand, but it's better than having a calendar um, like I did. I had a, like a calendar and then I had all my stuff in Schoology. So it's just taking all those things and putting them into to one assignment. And then if students are submitting them into Schoology, which is part of the later part of these videos, on assignments and assessments, 
it was a lot easier for students to follow this, follow the path and follow the system and for parents to help. All right, good luck teachers, we got this. We can keep doing it, we're gonna get it done and we're gonna be great.